Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel, and today I want to talk to you guys about macroalgae refugiums, fox faces, and all kinds of good stuff. This is my 55-gallon refugium sump that flows through my system for the predator tank. It's underneath there. So that's where the eel lives, and there's the trigger, and all that good stuff. So I have a very low wattage LED strip above this tank, and that is all I need to grow this awesome chato. And the fox face devoured all the other competing macroalgae that he could in there. And what we're left with is this beautiful clean refugium. So I always recommend having a fish in your sump. So a lot of people just putting chato in there and then it starts getting nasty. Um, make sure you put in like a little fox face or a tang or something in there. Because this was completely messy and he cleaned it all up. Now I just went in there and ripped this up and kind of shredded this out into a bunch of little balls because it was so tightly wound. The water flow in this tank is almost none. So it's basically saturating and just, the water is being completely um, cleaned, you know, very slow motion, slow flow. Uh, and the fox face used to move that around and help out a lot. But I just took them out until I get another one in. So what the heck is that under there? Hmm. That feather duster or something or a worm. Just doing a little bit of a dance. There were so many copepods under here, I couldn't even believe it. When I came and I pulled that cover off, they just scattered. It was like whew, everywhere. So this flows directly into my pumps that go back and return to the tank. So all that yummy food down there, the fish get to eat it in the corals. So that's why I like my filtration set up in the different areas too. And you can see over here, this yellow tang, okay? I call him the lazy yellow tang because I can't let him speak for all yellow tangs, but he doesn't eat very much algae. He's very, very picky about what he eats and he's a slow eater. So the fox face kicks his butt as far as algae eating. There's some brand new rock anemones. These things are gorgeous. I'm gonna post uh, a video of them in a few seconds. I'll put that at the end of this video for you guys so you can check it out. We did get some new inventory in. I'm going to be doing some awesome deals. The website is getting changed over in like two weeks. So I really am going to mark down and push out a lot of corals for a special deal. Uh, the only thing I'm going to ask people is minimum is $100 on packing orders because it takes time, the shipping, the insurance and all that stuff. A lot of people want to buy one coral. So if I put something for $7, you're gonna have to buy at least, you know, $100 or something, 7,500 bucks. Because it's just, you know, it's not worth my time right now. But, but anyway, neither here nor there. I have so many cool things I wanted to tell you guys about the store and about what's going on. But I'm gonna save all that for tomorrow. Since I was so busy today, it's just not worth it for me to run in there and cheap in the moment. So what I'm planning on doing and what we're building for the new store is ridiculous. So we'll have some moving sales. Keep that in mind. Um, thanks for watching. As always, happy reefing. Feel free to ask your questions in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I am sorry for any delayed responses with anyone. Um, designing the store and the layout, uh, picking lights, suppliers, manufacturers, what kind of food. I really want to do this right, and I want to offer you guys one of the best experiences you have ever seen at a fish store. So. That's something I guarantee you that we will offer you. Um, and that takes a lot, of, a lot of patience, a lot of planning. So Aqua Shella was amazing. I am gonna call George. I'm gonna try to work with him and see if we can get some of those black light paintings in our store. Because we're not just gonna sell coral and fish. It's anything aquatic. We have furniture that we're gonna have for sale. Seashells, paintings, clothing. Anything cool, keychains, bottle openers, Christmas cards, birthday cards. If it's fish related, somehow aquarium related, ocean related, we're going to have it. So I really um, thank you guys for your continued support. And I'm looking forward to meeting everybody in person for the grand opening. And stick with us. And tomorrow you'll see more to come.
If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share with a friend. And thank you for being part of the Coralus community.